This week, we're taking a very merry time Disney cruise. And then we're checking out the holiday offerings at Epcot. Plus the latest theme park news and more coming at you from the attraction studio at Give Kids the World Village. Right, right now. now. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the show. I'm Quinn. And I'm Jesse. And the new live action trailer for the most expensive uh, live action film that Disney's done, dollars. Uh, Mulan, has come out. <laughs> it looks it looks very uh, different, uh, bold departure from the original source material. Um, well, it's actually a little bit more based on the ballad of Mulan. That's true. I guess that's not, not the original the source material. It's the animated that yeah. inspired. So. It kind of looks like a crouching tiger, hidden dragon. So we're going into like a whole different realm of movie genre for mm -hmm. Disney. Yeah, it's 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 not gonna have like Mushu or Shang, or the I think the music is gonna be in it, but only instrumentally, mm -hmm. not not the actual singing. A little so. bit more traditional. It mm -hmm. was shot in China and New Zealand, okay. so we're looking at epic, you know, skate landscapes. It's actually wrapped last year, so it's been in the editing. Like I mean, for a year. movies that are that expensive got to have some. And they good have to effects. be. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited for it. I think it looks beautiful. I don't think it's gonna be something I'll take my kid to. I think it's gonna it be. It looks more pretty violent. Yeah. It looks very, very violent. But hopefully they do justice to the story that is Mulan, not necessarily the animated film, more so her story. So we'll be back after a message from our sponsors. Summer and fall 2020 itineraries with Disney Cruise Line are now available with Mouse Fan Travel. To learn more about their offers and to get a free quote with no obligation, head to mousefantravel.com. Want to visit Epcot during the festival of the holidays? You can save up to $85 on Disney World tickets through Undercover Tourist. For more information and to check out their other ticket deals, visit undercovertourist.com. As you saw in our last week's show, Star Wars Rise of the Resistance is officially open at Walt Disney World. But for now, Hollywood Studios is utilizing boarding passes to get their guests on the ride. So if you want to ride, be sure to show up to the park early. You can check out all our videos from the attraction, including a special stunt show with Kylo Ren and Rey from the media event now on our YouTube channel. And we mean early. Oh yeah, like <laughs> I, I think this morning uh, the, the, the boarding passes, we're, we're filming this at like 10 and they ran out like Two and a half hours ago. People are like taking selfies at 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. waiting at the gates to get in. I, I, I am <laughs> planning on going tomorrow. I'm going to get there probably 6 to 7 sometime. So I'll get a, I'll get a pass. Don't know if I'm <laughs> um, how late it'll be, you know, like if I'm, I'm part of the first people getting on or, you mm -hmm. know. And then I, I know that um, some boarding groups haven't actually been able to get on. So Disney has been giving them a fast pass and a one day ticket that expires in like 2030 to come back. Like a one day theme park ticket to come back. Mm -hmm. Even if they're like annual pass holders. Yeah. Oh, I uh -huh. hope I don't make my boarding pass. Yeah, time. I, was I was thinking that. <laughs> like, I have a friend who uh, hasn't doesn't have a pass and they're transferable. Like you, I can see you, can you just get getting in line to see, I'm gonna get that pass someday, I'm gonna get that free pass. Yeah, I'm, I mean I might try. <laughs> like get get there at the very last second, like get there like uh, I don't even know. I think seven forty-five to eight, somewhere around there, is when they've been selling like out. So get there off. around there and like try to get one right then. Oh my Lanta, I tell ya. <laughs> so if you're still looking for New Year's Eve plans, look no further than Universal Orlando Resort. You can find a variety of NYE festivities across the resort, like party zones at Universal Studios Florida, unique celebrations at Universal Studios Resort Hotels, and Eve at Universal City Walk, just to name a few. To learn more about New Year's Eve offerings at Universal Orlando, visit attractionsmagazine.com. I haven't uh, done any of the New Year's stuff at Universal before. I know they did a little fireworks thing um, in the past, and then they'll always they do the Eve at City Walk, but I haven't gone. I've always wanted to go. I've seen a lot of the media coverage for it because it always looks like the place to be on New Year's Eve. It's packed. Yeah, I've seen. Yeah, they do a lot for it with mm -hmm. the partying, the atmosphere, and the stilt walkers, and the bars, and it's very adult too. Oh yeah. So yeah, that's probably also why I haven't been to it because for the majority <laughs> of my life I haven't been able to. You're still waiting still, for yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not 21 yet, so I don't actually even know if I can. I yeah, you can some select things. I just don't think you can do the city walk stuff. Yeah. 
Consider your baby Yoda wishes granted, as new D-Tech on-demand products featuring the child from The Mandalorian are now available at Disney Parks. You can show your love for this little green guy with a phone case, magic bands, and magnets. You can get one for yourself at D-Tech locations at Walt Disney World and Disneyland, and I already have. You're already rocking this one. Yeah, You're I already, already got my uh, magic band with the baby Yodas on it, and uh, I got the, the car magnet that says the child on board, and it has him in his little... Uh, I want a t-shirt that says Chi the child on board because I'm pregnant oh, yeah. like the child on board That's with a cute. little Yoda and the ball. I think that would be adorable. I also have... Do uh, that for me, Disney. I would love it. Pop socket. You can't really... You're really far uh, away. Yeah. But it's uh, Baby Yoda in his pod. They should just rename that whole show. Let's get real. Like, ba baby Yoda. It should be I just mean, it's the not, baby. The child. The child. The, the show. child. Yeah. I mean, that's why most people watch it, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that... I mean... It was a spoiler at first, but as soon as people realized that that was in the show, they were like, oh, I got to get a Disney Plus subscription right now. I need Baby Yoda in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Legoland Florida is celebrating the most wonderful time by giving guests a free ticket to return in January or February 2020. Guests who purchase single day tickets now through the end of the year will receive a free return ticket. This gives guests the perfect chance to say goodbye to Lego Star Wars Midiland models before they disappear completely on January 6th. You can purchase your ticket now at Legoland.com. Um, this is a really cool uh, deal, and I, I think it's great that you'll be able to see the Legoland Miniland, uh, uh, the Star Wars the Miniland Star Wars, models. Yeah. yeah, I'm sad that they're getting rid of the Star Wars Miniland. I like that Legoland's taking into consideration that some of us will really miss it. Yeah, I, I also think um, it's it's nice to to add more to Miniland because Miniland, it's there's a lot of details, but like once you've seen it all, mm -hmm. you know there's. Do you, That's you it. want more? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And the Miniland sections, uh, the Star Wars did always kind of feel a little out of place. Mm -hmm. But I'll have to say it was a highlight. Are real places. Real places. Except for the Pirates one, but I mean, that's. It's kind of St. Augustine, right? Yeah. <laughs> Pirates were a thing. They were a thing. <laughs> They're still a thing. There's been lots of new attractions this year, and you can read about three of them in our fall 2019 issue of Attractions Magazine. See how Hagrid is thrilling guests on a new roller coaster at Universal's Islands of Adventure. Find out how you can get to Sesame Street with a new land at SeaWorld Orlando. Get a look at everything awesome inside the Lego Movie World at Legoland Florida. Plus the latest news, rumors, and more packed into every issue. Get your copy and subscribe today at AttractionsMagazine.com in print or on digital in our app on Nook and Kindle. The Disney holidays aren't just celebrated in the theme parks. That's right. You can get into the seasonal spirit aboard the Disney Cruise Line, thanks to their very merry time cruises. Our reporter Banks recently took one of these holiday cruises and brought back some highlights to share. Very merry time cruises. What makes these cruises different than your usual Disney cruise itinerary? We have very merry time cruises and we have a lot of extra offerings for our guests. Obviously, as you've already seen, the ship is decorated. Uh, we have lots of festive cheer all over. Um, the highlights for our guests essentially probably on the first night is our tree lighting ceremony, which is a, a very big event. It calls a lot of our audiences to come through and have a look at that. We select a special family to assist our Disney friends getting the tree lit. We have Santa's Winter Wonderland Ball, which has become a tradition here on Disney Cruise Line, where we actually introduce Santa to our guests for the very first time. Uh, he arrives on the ship by sleigh on, on the radar. Another very attractive option for our guests is that they get to see the characters in the, the Very Merry Time overlays, their, their costumes, you know, it changes from the, the, the regular theming that we have. And then in addition to that, we have a whole lot of other activities, sort of bordering on uh, the food and beverage. We do mm -hmm. ginger cookie decorating. We have our Dickens carolers that go around the ship from time to time and, and sing a cappella carols. We have story time with Mrs. Claus. So there's quite a lot of extra offerings for our Very Merry Time Cruises. And there's a gingerbread house as well, you know, which um, is, is great, you know, that you know we've actually decorated on board and people love it. You know, they love getting in front of that. We're creating those memories. I know you yeah. smell it. Yeah. Yeah. It's enticing. How long does it take them to assemble that? <laughs> it's about a week. And the, the, the gingerbread house, I should mention, is right next to my office. <laughs> uh, it is not the best arrangement, I have to tell you, because uh, two weeks ago, I was really thin. Um, <laughs> I find if you snack from the back, it's better. <laughs> they don't go with it. Happy holidays, everyone! Oh, Mickey, the ship is so beautiful! 
philosophy to really want to understand their clients, to understand truly what their needs are and what they're looking for. We have a level of service that is top notch and we really want to do everything we can to make sure you have the best vacation possible. MEI and Mouse Van Travel is your expert source for no fee travel planning. Visit mei-travel.com for a no obligation quote today. Skip the lines with undercover tourists, crowd calendars, touring plans, and mobile apps. Stop paying full price for your family vacation and visit Undercover Tours today. Holiday traditions from around the world are celebrated across Epcot during the International Festival of the Holidays. I recently got to visit Epcot to find out everything their annual holiday event has to offer. Let's see it, Quinn. What can we find during the holiday season at Epcot this year? What can't you find? <laughs> There's so much to do at Epcot during the holidays. It's probably my favorite time of year. In addition to our holiday kitchens, which are going to be all around the park, there's so many family-friendly activities to do. So uh, I'm out here all the time with my family during uh, this time of year because it's all about building family traditions, right? So 
We love going to candlelight processionals, so we grab a dinner package, love the beer garden because it's uh, great for my kids. They love that menu, they love the pretzel rolls, and then over to um, Amgard for a candlelight show. Uh, at the same time, we love to wrap that into doing some of the other things like our Chippendale Christmas tree spree uh, scavenger hunt. Yeah, so if you've, uh, if you've uh, seen that before, bigger and better than ever this year. Uh, I know that Chelsea can tell you about another scavenger hunt okay. of sorts so that's back again. We have our cookie stroll, which is returning this year. So you can purchase five cookies that are at the Holiday Kitchens throughout World Showcase. Um, you'll get them stamped in your passport. And once you have five, you can return um, to Holiday Sweets and Treats to redeem for a complimentary cookie. So right here I have some of the samples from the Holiday Kitchens. Um, this is from the Bavarian Kitchen. It has some schnitzel and spatzel with some mushroom on top there. This is a latka with smoked salmon um, from the Lahayam, Lahayam Holiday Kitchen. And I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, this is from the Sweets and Treats. It's a peppermint tea. It's, 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 I think I'll try it actually. Mmm. Oh, that's good. You wouldn't... Because it's, it's sort of like an, uh, a shake, like a milkshake type thing. Very good. So as you can see, I'm on Living With The Land right now, and they have Christmas lights everywhere. It's called Living With The Land Merry and Bright. They're doing this through the Christmas season, and it, it, they've got Christmas lights everywhere in these greenhouses. If you want to check out the holidays here at Epcot, they run now through December 30th. A thank you to Trends International for bringing us this beautiful Mandalorian poster. It just so happens to be one of 300. This is number 52 out of 300. But um, if you want it, you can go to our website, attractionsmagazine.com slash the show. Find this episode, scroll down for the entry form. But if you don't win it, you can still go and shop for it on trendsinternational.com. <laughs> now this week's birthday shout outs go out to Pat Lewis, Lindsay Hansen, Jenny Peters, Ricardo Galarza, Michael Bingham, James Trussell, and our own Andy Haynes. <laughs> Happy birthday, everyone. Want more Attractions Magazine content that you can't get anywhere else? Join our subscription plan. You can sign up for basic club VIP level and not only get access to back issues of our magazine, but if you're on the top two tiers, you can listen to the Attractions podcast, get exclusive videos, live streams, and more. To learn more about our subscription levels and to sign up for yourself, visit attractionsmagazine.com slash store. We want to thank MEI Mouse Fan and Universal Fan Travel, our preferred travel agent. For a free quote with no obligation, visit meitravel.com. And thanks to Undercover Tourist, our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Orlando and California attractions. For more information, visit undercovertourist.com. Give Kids World Village is a nonprofit resort that provides week-long cost vacations to children with life-threatening illnesses and their families. To learn more about this, get involved, visit gktw.org. Look for our spoiler-free Star Wars movie review next Wednesday at noon. I am very, very excited to see the new film. Oh, I am too. I, I already have <laughs> three tickets to go see it. Oh, I'm so I, excited. I'm going to see it on, on Tuesday, and then the, the review is going to be up on Wednesday. Then I'm going to go see it again on Thursday and on Friday. Wow, that is dedication. <laughs> I'm going once. Hopefully. That's, that is something. <laughs> but I'll probably end up going two or three times, because that's what happened I, during the last two. I think I saw The Last Jedi, like... 
like somewhere in between five and ten times in the theater because okay. you you know that's when uh what was it movie pass or whatever mm -hmm. that was a thing so I, I was just able to keep going and seeing it uh, it's gonna be exciting. I'm sure there will be tears. I'm sure there'll be outrage. I'm sure there'll be love and drama and rebellion. And be, everything we love about Star Wars. There'll be some tears. Tears. No matter what. Happy tears, sad tears. There'll be happy I'm tears cry. and sad tears. I'm so excited. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us and we hope you'll tune in again next week. Until then, visit your local attraction, try something new, stay safe, but most of all, have, have fun. fun.